Hi there. Okay, now I'd like to take a have you take a peek at our, our top of the line, the Rolls Royce of the fleet. It's a 242 Limited S Yamaha with a high output engine. You're putting out about 400 horsepower, and you're looking at about a 60 mile an hour boat. Satellite radio, fully loaded, little head on it. Ample space for about 12 people comfortably. I'm not the littlest guy in around in that uh, you can fit 12 guys my size on there and still have plenty of room. Yeah, you can definitely see the size here and the, uh, the seating capacity. Again, huge, ample, ample locker, storage locker. We have area up the front where you can put in a bow filler cushion. You can wakeboard off this. It has a beautiful stereo system with satellite radio, iPod hookup. Your passenger side area will pull out into a, into a bed bench type seating. You have a nice little dinette table that can be moved around within the boat. Your social swim at the back of the boat allows you, when you're at the sandbar, you can just swim up to the back of the boat without getting in and getting everything wet. Adjust your stereo. This, this also has a little shower feature where you, uh, if you're, you've got dirty feet or what have you before going in the boat, you can just rinse yourself off. Top-notch quality material that we use in the seats. So 10 years from now, these seats should look just as nice as they do now. Snap-in carpet, bimini tops are all standard on all these boats. And I should point out that all the Yamaha boat products that we're selling here today, they all do come with trailers, beautiful swing tongue trailers. These, uh, the, the larger boats have a, have a dual axle with brakes. The uh, smaller, the 19-footers have a single axle with brakes, but they all have the swing tongue trailer. So they're virtually, you know, they're, they're first of all, they're virtually maintenance free and then they're also easy to store too at the end of the season. These boats really don't need a whole lot of winterizing going on. At the end of the season, you pour like uh, a liquid fogging oil type material into the gas. You uh, go for a little rip around the lake, pull it out on the trailer, blow out the excess water and it's, it's basically winterized. Um, all the components in the engine are stainless steel and uh, therefore you, there's no, no need to antifreeze or anything like that. The, again, the only thing they really recommend is a good oil change with synthetic oil. If you're running it in salt water, there's, there's ports to hook up a, a, a hose to and you can flush the engine out. And again, this is the top of the line and you're probably in around the, the 58 to $60,000 range for something like this.